Guys, I have a question. How big are the lots? Are we talking massive? Today, I am eating Big Lots food for 24 hours. Now, I haven't been to a Big Lots in literally years, so I don't even know what kind of foods they have. It's gonna be a surprise for me. But either way, the items are probably gonna be big. <laughs> At least I'm hoping, because we love a big portion, girlies. I do have three stomachs to fill, so. By the way, before we start, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me, my dainty self, and my whole career. Also, subscribe. I make food content. Store food, restaurant food, theme park food, hotel food. By the way, Big Lots is right here look look how big <laughs> can you see the logo I can't see the the screen can you see it okay so this is my nearest big lots location it's a little shady it's quite <laughs> it's very secluded as you can see nature has taken over just a little bit it is kind of giving last of us you know forgotten convenience store but I'm excited Ooh. wow I forgot that furniture oh my god I can just sit on a couch we love that Someone saw me, I feel awkward. Okay, I see the food area, guys. It looks pretty big. I'm gonna have a lot of options today. We love that. So for breakfast, I decided to get only breakfasty type foods, just to, you know, have a little theme going because it is the morning. Now, I was expecting there to be some sort of a frozen aisle, but there really wasn't. There was no fresh or frozen food to be found besides these drinks right there. So I got some Bisquick pancake mix to make pancakes, obviously. Now, they had other pancake mixes, but they were all gluten-free. And luckily, gluten doesn't take me on a trip to Riotown, so I got the normal one. Now, I almost got the salsa caramel syrup, but it was so dusty. I think it was shipped in straight from La Sahara, so I didn't get it. I just got this maple syrup that was up high, and I reached it good for me and then i got some corned beef hash because that was like the only breakfasty meat that i could find like in a can you know and i got some honey buns just to finish off the meal Oh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> so breakfast overall was $10.56. Now you might be thinking, Timmy, that's expensive. Actually, no, it's not. Because if you think about it, I got six servings of honey buns, 13 servings of pancakes, 35 servings of syrup, y'all, and two servings of corned beef hash. So I actually got a lot of bang for my buck and this is gonna last me for multiple days. I mean, probably just two, at least with the honey buns. <laughs> They're gonna be gone quick. It is time to cook this food up. So with the corned beef hash, I have to place it evenly in the skillet and then just cook it until it's crispy on both sides. And now <laughs> with the pancakes, I realized that they need milk and eggs and oil. Big lots didn't have all that, girl. I guess I'll just cook it without all those things and just with water. It'll probably taste fine. I mean, it's just pancake mix, you know? Also, like everything that goes into this mouth hole has to be from Big Lots today. So even if I had eggs in the fridge, I would not be able to add them. I'm sorry. I, I follow the rules, my own man-made rules. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some this quick mix. There we go. It's gonna melt, right? Oh, I spilled. It's fine, it just blends into the counter. I'll just leave it there. I am just gonna add water until the consistency is nice and pancakey. Oh, wow. That was quick. It looks like cement. Oh, was that too much? Oh no. Why is it so gray? Why is it giving Edward Cullen's elbow? I think that looks actually great. Now I know I said I wouldn't eat anything that wasn't from Big Lots, but I did forget to buy non-stick cooking spray. But technically I'm not eating the pan. It's just gonna be a barrier of non-stickness between the pan and the pancake. Anyways, Pamela is that girl, so she doesn't even count as food. For the pancakes, now I don't think that the corned beef hash needs any non-stick spray, because it's so greasy in that can. I haven't had corned beef hash since I was, oh, this did not work. What? You're kidding me. There we go, okay. Oh my God, the can opener is not canning. It's not opening. Okay, I got it. So I haven't had corned beef hash since I was like a kid. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> this looks very different than how I remembered it. Um, it is giving Purina. Oh my gosh, my dog Poo Poo just came here because he thought it was dog food. Girl, it's not. Yes, yeah, sizzle! Guys, pancake batter always smells like ocean. And now let's add the corned beef hash. Ah! That's too hot, too hot, chill. 
literally. Okay, so this is how breakfast is looking currently. We have some steaming Purina and we have the pancakes. Let's flip this one, it looks ready. Oh, stunning. Okay, these pancakes look done. Please. The corned beef hash is popping and locking like the girl from High School Musical. Do you guys think it's crispy enough on, on that side? Oh no, it's sticking. <gasps> oh no. Wait, oh no, it's on, it's on the burner, it's on the burner. Get off, get off of there. Get off of there. Oh my God, oh no. Get off of there. Come on. Let me put the phone down, guys, I'm stressed. Ah. Uh, stop popping. Oh my God, it's too high. Okay, I'm just kind of scraping the bottom and it's kind of coming together now. There's definitely some crispiness happening, see? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, the corned beef hash looks very crispy and it actually smells decadent. Honestly, even though like Big Lots didn't have any fresh food or like frozen food, I still made a full breakfast. I'm kind of shook about this. The pancakes. We're gonna add my super crispy corned beef hash, guys, look at this. Does that not look kind of good? I mean, when it came out of the can, I was scared, but now I'm actually excited to eat it. And no, those little white things are not teeth. They are little potatoes. They are kind of giving teeth though, right? Like orthodontus. Nice little side of proteins. Okay, we got our honey bun. Come on, little Debbie. These are actually kind of little, but they're from Big Lots. They should be big. Okay. Breakfast is served, guys. The pancakes are pancaking. The corned beef hash is toothing and the honey bun is little Debbie-ing. So let's first try the pancakes. I just hope that they still taste good even though they're, they're missing some ingredients. I mean, all the ingredients. The texture looks amazing. Look at that. Okay. <coughs> oh. They don't just look like cement. They are serving cement full time. Um, okay, N no, listen. Flavor wise, they taste fine. They have a pancakey flavor, but they somehow taste doughy even though they're not. And as you chew, the texture literally like turns into cement in, in your mouth. Now this is obviously all my fault. This is not Bisquick's fault. <laughs> this is my doing. I just wish the Big Lots sold like eggs and milk and all that stuff so that I could have made full pancakes. They're also really hard to swallow. So, you know, don't skip out on the Bisquick instructions, okay? Follow what it says to do, because this texture is almost uneatable, unedible, because it keeps almost getting stuck in my throat. So I'm gonna give normal Bisquick pancakes, because I have had them before, an eight out of 10. I'm gonna give mine a two out of 10. And I'm gonna give this syrup a nice 10 out of 10. It tastes like any good old classic syrup. It's by Fresh Finds. I am finding that it tastes quite fresh. Now let's try the Little Debbie honey bun. Now I've never had one of these in my life. <laughs> I mean, we've all had this honey bun, have we not? Let's be honest. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. There's nothing like a honey bun, guys. Nothing in this world. We all know what a honey bun tastes like, so I'm not gonna really delve that deep into the flavor. A Little Debbie honey bun, 10 out of 10. Oh, I'm glad I got that. Now let's try the corned beef hash, okay? It does look pretty crispy, so let's see how it tastes. Salty, oh my God. I got the shivers from the salt, the salt shivers. I hate it and I love it at the same time. Oh my God. The corned beef's texture is serving like cooked ground beef. The flavor is a cross between bacon and ground beef. I would say that. It has the saltiness that bacon has without the smokiness. And then it has this like meatiness that ground beef has. It's very interesting. Wow. And the potatoes don't really add flavor but they do add a heartiness and a nice texture. It just makes it feel like more of a full meal and more breakfasty as well. I like it. Mm-hmm. I actually can't stop eating it. Look at me go. Am I a corned beef stand? Am I the villain? So I think I'm gonna give the corned beef for canned meat a nice eight out of 10. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, good combo. Mm, it's really salty. Okay, girlies, it's lunchtime. I did not lock my car, so it locked by itself. Gotta be more careful. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> hey girlies, so it is lunchtime and I'm back at Big Lots. Ooh, that car just went over a curb. 
but I'm at a different location. I just wanted to see if like they had different options, maybe a frozen food aisle. We'll see, maybe some fresh food, who knows, some ground beef. This is it. It's a lot less secluded than the other one. We have lots of little stores. We have a dentist right there. Ooh, this one has a very different vibe. It's giving more like warehouse, steampunk, <laughs> you know? So this location did not have a frozen aisle or a fresh aisle either. So of course I went straight to the chips girl. This is what I know. This is what I'm good at, okay? They did have a lot of different chip options but not super weird chips besides this flavor it's a cheesy pizza chip so I got that to try. And then I also got some iconic little flaming Hot Cheeto balls because I love those so much. I haven't had them in a while. Plus I found this fire yakisoba spicy beef ramen soup. And they also did have these Hormel complete meals, which I have had in the past. And they are actually the most vile things I've ever tasted. I'm not even joking. So I did not get those. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. But I did get a nice little Coke Zero. And I got this s'mores kit. So it comes with graham crackers, chocolate, marshmallows, all that. And for protein, I got this big thick slum drum. Okay. So everything was $18.12. The s'mores were $5. The um, noodles were $1.29. The pizza chips were $2.69. The Slim Jim was $3.49. Okay, steak. And then the Flaming Hot Cheeto Balls were $2.79. And the Coke Zero was $2.39. Okay. These are pretty typical prices, I feel. I don't think anything is that much cheaper than like any other store, right? I don't know. Let's cook the noodles. So, wait, I just realized I got mostly spicy stuff. <laughs> Tomorrow morning is gonna singe me away. Okay, so I don't ever like add like the little vegetable and dried meat pack. The dried meat pieces really gross me out. I'm sorry, but how is that ever a cow? The moo is gone. This is how it looks. Let's add some water. There we go. In the meantime, let me eat some of these Flaming Hot Pito Balls. Guys, I haven't had these in a while, but I used to love them and they taste actually totally different than your typical Flaming Hot Cheetos. It's like low, like Cheeto cereal, basically. Oh, mm, they're so good. To me, they're much tangier than your typical Flaming Hot Cheetos. Mm. And the texture. Why am I cleaning a window? <laughs> okay guys, I just opened this and I did not open it near my face, but instantly it went straight up my nose somehow. I don't know how, but the sinuses are cleared. They are giving spacious. Let's put that in, spicy beef packet. I have never had this in my life, but ooh, that is dark. Okay, lunch is served. Well, this cools down just a little bit. Let's try these cheesy pizza chips by hers. Oh, I think I had hers um when I did the Dollar Tree video, right? Her, she. Okay, this is how they look. Come on, pizza. Oh. Oh! Wow. You know, I'm a fan of Pringles pizza flavored chips. I think they are delicious. They are the standard pizza chip, right? These kind of taste like that, but they're so overly sweet. Like they are giving icky sweet. You know how like marinara sauce always has like a little bit of sugar in it? This tastes like someone accidentally wasn't looking and they dump the whole sugar container into the marinara sauce. That is the vibe here. It does have a slight oregano flavor, maybe a little bit of basil, but otherwise it's just like sugary tomato and I'm not a fan. It's too sweet. It's, it's almost giving dessert. Trash. <laughs> I am giving them a 2.5 out of 10. I would not get them again. I'm sorry. Let's try these spicy beef noodles. Mm. Oh my goodness, yes. It's genuinely spicy. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a typical beef ramen, but with so much added seasoning and spices. It's like beef ramen plus, like Disney plus. Mandalorian, where's Pedro Pascal? It's so good. It has actually, oh, my, my nose is dripping. It has a very strong cayenne flavor to it. It's also like a little garlicky. It's like a garlicky, beefy cayenne ramen. Mmm. I would say that the spice level is like a nice 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty strong and I love spicy food guys. So I'm very happy about that. Ooh, yeah, it's, it's getting spicier the more that I eat. Oh, my nose. Ah, you guys know I have sinus issues. So this is a blessing. Thank you, big man up there. Ooh, ooh, I swear it's getting so hot. I want more, but it's a little painful. <laughs> Just a smidge. These noodles are a 10 out of 10. <coughs> 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 
my nose. <laughs> Did a noodle fly out of me? My eyes are <coughs> I'm a mess. Sorry guys, it actually went up my nose. Where'd that noodle go? Okay, let's take a break from that. <laughs> it attacked me. <laughs> okay, let's try the protein of the meal. This is the Slim Jim. I got the Savage. It's spicy flavor. And it's three times bigger. So this is a dense king, guys. It looks like a log. <coughs> <coughs> Who said that? Was that a ghost? Oh my gosh, it's just staring right at you. It's intimidating. Hmm. I just realized that this meal is like a sodium fest, guys. Tomorrow I'm gonna bloat so much I'm gonna float away. Mmm. You guys know I love me a good meat stick. So I'm loving this. No, it doesn't taste that much different than your typical Sum Jim. I know it's savage. I don't know what, what that's supposed to taste like. I've never tried savage before, but it was a little spicier than your typical Slim Jim. It's salty. It's great. Sustenance. Mmm. I'm gonna give this Slim Jim a nice 8.5 out of 10. I think that I do prefer the thinner ones. This is a little too much meat for me, but it's still really good. It's time for our lunch dessert. These s'mores. Now it says outdoors roast them, indoors toast them. I'm just gonna microwave them. So it's a whole s'mores kit. It has everything you need apparently. And it's by FPF Fun Pack Foods. <laughs> Create a Wow. This is the chocolate. It's like little like circular chocolate melts. Look at the marshmallows. They feel ancient. That's okay. They just feel kind of hard. And then we have the graham crackers. I love graham crackers so much. Look at that. Cute, right? There we go. Beautiful. Chocolate melts. Let's just put three. And then we're gonna put one of these marshmallows from the Stone Age. A caveman made this. <laughs> it's genuinely very hard and crusty feeling. Come on, marshmallow. Grow, queen. Oh my gosh, it's getting huge. Oh! Queen! Oh my gosh, it got kind of toasted looking. No, wait, that's just chocolate. I think it's fine. Let's put the top on. Okay. The chocolate's fully melted. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. What? Mm. <laughs> it's a s'more, so my brain instantly assumed it was delicious, but it's really not. The chocolate melts taste really empty in the sense that they don't have a strong chocolatey flavor. They just taste like white sugar with a hint of chocolate. So we don't love that. The marshmallow does taste stale and the graham crackers also taste really stale. That's the worst s'more I've ever had. What happened? S'more, more like snow. No, I'm gonna have to give the s'more a one out of 10, very disappointing, wow. Well, that was lunch, it was mostly successful. I will see you guys at dinner and I do plan on cooking something really nice. Okay, girlies, it's time for dinner. I am back at the first Big Lots and it's like 5.30 p.m. It's so empty, look at this parking lot, guys. Like how? Big Lots really needs to promote, make a commercial advertise how big the lots are. So for my dinner meat, I found this flaming hot beef jerky. Guys, flaming hot beef jerky. I had to try it. Hello. Now I almost got some like pasta, possibly some mac and cheese, possibly some mashed potatoes. But to be honest, I didn't feel like it. Even though I know it's dinnery, I just wasn't craving these things. And so guess what I did, girlies? I went and I made Big Lots nachos. So in the chip aisle, they had some salsa con queso, which is basically like a nacho cheese, but it just has more flavor. And then out of all the different tortilla chips, I chose spicy nacho cheese flavor because that is one of my favorite flavors of Doritos. And then I also found some bean dip to put on top too, just to, you know, add some more sustenance. I found this like gourmet desserty type popcorn. And out of all the flavors I chose, M&M's, because I felt like that would just be the most delicious lovely. Okay, so the Doritos were $4.19. The M&M popcorn was $3.49. The beef jerky was $6.99. For this bag, I feel like this is kind of small. I don't know, $6.99, oh my God. The bean dip was $3.39 and the salad is like on gay was $4.59. Anyways, let's prepare the nachos. So I'm basically just gonna heat up the bean dip and the queso and that's it. And then I just throw it together. It sounds so easy and nachos are like my favorite thing in the world. So I feel like this is really gonna satisfy me. Oh, look at that bean dip girl. Oh, it's giving fart. Okay. 30 seconds. And then the queso, I love this stuff guys. Cause it doesn't taste like normal queso. It tastes like cool queso. <laughs> it tastes like salsa con queso. It tastes different. Mm. 
Mm, oh! I like a lot. Let's put some spicy nacho Doritos onto my little plate here. That's not enough. It's never enough! Mmm. And then let's put some, sorry, <laughs> I used the same spoon. Let, <laughs> let's put some dollops of the bean dip all over. And let's just pour the queso right on top. Oh my God. <gasps> Arr. Oh my God, I love queso so much. I could cry. And that's it. Dinner is served. We have our prime rib steak, our authentic <laughs> nachos, just kidding, and our dessert. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh my god! I ate that. Mmm. This is so simple, but so delicious. It doesn't even need fresh toppings like tomatoes and sour cream and like guacamole. Who are they? I'm just kidding. I love those. But this is delicious by itself. The spicy nacho cheese chips are just so much more flavorful than plain tortilla chips. So that's right, an upgrade right there. The bean dip adds. Once again, like a heartiness that just makes it feel more more like a meal and not like a snack, you know? It makes them feel filling and the bean dip has a great flavor. It's like refried beans, but like better, hotter, fiercer. Refried beans, but make it fierce. And then the salsa con queso has so much flavor. It's sharp and cheesy and tangy and it just accentuates this whole dish. I love it. 10 out of 10. Now it's time to try our protein of the night. The Flaming Hot Beef Jerky. Now, I've I've never had this flavor, but I do enjoy this brand. It's like the most mainstream of the beef jerky brands, but it always tastes pretty good to me. So this really looks like normal beef jerky, but apparently it's flaming Hot. Mmm. Where's the flaming Hot? Where is it? It disappeared. Okay, it's a little spicy. You know, I'm a little disappointed here. I am, because Flaming hot doesn't just mean it's spicy, you know? When it looks like that, it means it has the flaming hot flavor. It's a very specific, tangy, cheesy spice. And this beef jerky just tastes like normal beef jerky, but spicy. This is shameful. The fact that they put this logo on it, they should just call it like hot and spicy beef jerky, not flaming hot. It truly has nothing to do with, with the flaming hot flavor. Now it still tastes like good beef jerky, but I am highly disappointed. I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10. I'm just so grateful for these nachos. And just like that, this plate of nachos never existed. It was in your imagination. That was so good, I'm shaking. It's time for dessert. The final item of the day, candy pop, mini M&M's popcorn. It has chocolate on it, M&M's. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. I don't see a lot of M&Ms in there, but they may all be at the bottom. You know, that happens. Ooh. Mmm. 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 How cute. This is so good. There really needs to be some more M&Ms here. I'm barely finding any. Well, I have to say, mm, mm, mm. this popcorn is so delicious. Oh my God. It's serving salty, crunchy. The chocolate tastes sweet and rich. And the M&Ms add such a nice candy crunch. Such a satisfying little dessert. I love this. Mm -hmm. I would totally get this again. I want to try the other flavors now. Not sponsored. Well, guys, my day has come to an end. And these are my final thoughts. I think the big lots surprisingly has less food options than like the Dollar Tree. And it's more expensive than the Dollar Tree. Also, it has less weird, interesting stuff. Now it's not a battle with the Dollar Tree, but if it was, the Dollar Tree would win, okay? The Glutz is fine, it's fun, but food is obviously not its main priority, you know? Which is fine. It made the video a challenge, and I had a great time. So let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this video? Give it a big, big large thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe. I'll see you next video guys. I love you so much. Bye!